What's up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Talks coming out to the brand new video. Hey, it's Friday, TGIF, and we're going to get into something cool today. We did a box break of this uh, product last week. It's Panini Golden Age. This is the 2012 Panini Golden Age Hobby Box. And uh, we should find some pretty cool stuff in it. I loved that that 2013 one we did last week. I think you guys did too, based on the uh, comments. And it just was super fun. I mean, lots and lots of fun. Very, very cool stuff there. And so we're going to get into this today. Okay, so what, what about this uh, Golden Age uh, uh, set here? So there's 150 base cards. There's going to be mini tobacco cards with different colored backs. There's, uh, we're going to get one signature in here, historic signature, and one museum age uh, relic card, memorabilia card. That'll be in here as well. There are these, um, <clears throat> excuse me, box toppers, one uh, in the box. I think they're mini pennants, the inserts we're going to be looking for. There's headlines, batter up, and 1907 Newark Evening News insert cards. I believe there's a couple of each of those in this box. So let's see what we can find in here. I'm excited to open this up. Um, we... We had a great box that last one, and you guys said do another one. A couple comments, and I said yes, definitely. These are very inexpensive. It's a really, uh, it's a cheap product as far as you know. If you want to find something cool and um, don't want to bust your wallet open there, scratch the box. I mean, do that. No biggie. Okay, let's get this plastic wrap off, and then we'll get ripping these packs open. Get to ripping these packs open. Okay. Okay, plastic wrap is off. Let's look at this box a little closer. So here you go. Find autos and memorabilia from some of the nation's greatest athletes, entertainers, newsmakers, and the golden age, from the golden age of America. And then um, here's the front. You can see the National Baseball Hall of Fame logo there. Six cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Here's this side of here. Find autographs and da da da. Same thing. This one says, uh, same thing. <laughs> This, though, is, oh, okay, so let's see. Look for a Triple Crown Winners tribute card to Horse Racing's highest achievement featuring autographs from the three living Triple Crown jockeys. Okay, that's cool. I'd like to have something different, not to be rude. You know, jockey card, I guess that would be okay. I'm hoping that we get, like, a celebrity or somebody pretty neat. Now, um, this pack's out of here. Now, the autograph was, uh, who was it, Leroy Davis. I think that's who that was. And then we got a um, Joe Frazier. Down goes Frazier. We got his uh, piece of, uh, I, I look closer at it. It looks like it was a piece of his uh, robe. So that's kind of nice. Let's get the packs. Let's put them up here. There's those, and we'll just start here. Here's our box up. Let's do that first. All right, now we're all good to go. And then we pulled a Barbara Eden uh, autograph out of a pack of... I don't know if it was this year or 2014. I'm not sure. Let's cut this with the scissors. I brought everything over. I didn't bring over penny sleeves, so we'll deal with that at the end with whatever we find out of here. Well, we were on the hunt for Bad News Bears cards in the last one. We got a bunch of them, so that was kind of nice. Here is the uh, little insert to protect this, and then here is the pennant. And Richard Nixon. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he's looking kind of good now with the way things have been going. <laughs> he's looking like a choir boy, isn't he? Uh, Richard Nixon pennant. It's kind of got a, um, a, a felt kind of texture to it, too. It's kind of neat. I like it. It's kind of nice. Card number 38. Let's put that away. Showcase that at the end. Okay, let's get going here. Now, last time they had a bunch of spacers in these packs to kind of throw people off. I think, you know, if you had, a, for some reason, able to search... Uh, and look, there's, there's something there. Let me just double check, make sure it's not yet. Yeah, it's a spacer. So they're doing it again. It might be to protect. It's a combination of things. Obviously, to, to, to discourage ser searchers, but it might be to protect, um, like, the mini is back behind here. So maybe that's what it is. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's a look at these cards. Look a little bit different. Here's Bill Mazeroski. Maz. Um, yeah. Still, still with us. Um, you know, the Mazeroski home run from the 60 World Series against the Yankees. Uh, sorry, Yankees fans. That was great for us. I like the Yankees too, but um, which is actually a no-no. <laughs> uh, when you're a Pirates fan, you shouldn't like the Yankees, but I do. Okay, here's Bill Mazeroski, the back of it. I like this. Got a nice paragraph about Mr. Mazeroski. These remind me of a combination of Alan and Ginter. They remind me of a little bit of um, Gypsy Queen too, and they're pretty neat. 
I like these. So there's the first one. Let's see if they all have the color blue in the back. They do. There might be different colors. I'm not sure. Here's Tom Seaver. There's a lot of baseball in the last one, too. Beautiful. Nice Fred Lynn. Not in the hall, but still a nice card. Here's our mini tobacco. And that is... She was Joe Jackson. And apparently there might be a relic of, of his, you know, his are in here too. So a bat relic, which would be really cool if we get that. Charlie Chaplin. We all know that name. Bill Russell. Has to be in the Hall of Fame, Basketball Hall of Fame there with the Celtics. Okay, let's go to the next one. Make sure we don't have our... No, it's a spacer. Larry Fine from the Three Stooges. Larry, always getting bonked in the head with something. Yeah, they all blue. Maury Wills. Raleigh Fingers, look at that stash, that handlebar stash, beautiful. Or Spacer. Gory Howell, it's very nice, I like that. Early win. He was in the Hall too. Put him aside in the Hall of Fame pile. And Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Pop. No spacer in this one. We don't have a hit in here. Okay, we don't think we do. Uh, Eddie Sicotti? I don't know uh, anything about him. Hmm. Oh, part of the Black Sox. Let's see. Oh, it's part of the uh, Black Sox scandal. Maybe that's, I think that they have those cards in here too. Um, interesting. Don Larson. I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame or not. If he is, comment down below. Boo Powell, same thing. The Orioles. And then who's our mini? Our mini is Jim, or Jack Johnson. Sorry, boxer. These are very cool. And he's going to have... Different colored backs, and these are all like brown. Looks like broadleaf cigarettes. Very cool. Buster Keaton, going way, 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 way back. And Jim Ryan, Myler. Okay. Johnny Weissmuller, athlete and actor. Frankie Frisch. Second baseman. Put him in the Hall of Fame probably. I think, I don't know if he is or not. Question marks. I'll put them in the question mark probably. Lou Pinella, Great card there. Definitely not in, but still great player and coach. Pete Rose. It's very nice. Franklin D. Roosevelt. And then Frank Howard. Another one. I'm not sure about Start getting the older, older players. I kind of don't know. I mean, I know some, but like Hal Newhouser, I'm not sure about him um, being in the Hall of Fame. I'd like to showcase those at the end. Ron Blumberg. First designated hitter in the big league, in big league history in 73. That's interesting. Okay, this is uh, Ben Hogan, golfer. And then what's the, what is this one? It feels like it's got a, oh, it's like a stand-up. They didn't say anything about those. It's, that's pretty cool. You can see, you can see how it's, um, I tilt that there, you the light's hitting it there, and you can see this probably folds out. It's pretty neat. I like it. Put that one aside. Uh, Jim Ryan, we saw his regular base. There's his mini. Bill Dickey. Sam Crawford. Inducted the Hall of Fame. Ava Gardner. Hello, Miss Gardner. How are you tonight? <laughs> um, okay. I should look real quick. That probably doesn't say on the back of these baseball cards um, if they were on or in the um, they were inducted. That one did that we just saw. Oh, okay. I see. So maybe it'll have it right here, this little logo. That's pretty cool. And this one does too. And this one doesn't. Don Larson, this one doesn't. 
This one doesn't. Okay, that's a great way to figure that out. Okay, great. Let me just double check, make sure I know everything right. Sorry, guys. Let me know. Bill Mazeroski should be in. Tom Seaver. Maury Wills. Maybe not. Raleigh Fingers. Hmm. Interesting. Unless they got inducted after that, I thought that they would have been in. Okay. Maybe Maz isn't. I thought Seaver's definitely in. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So it's McCovey. I don't know what's going on here with I. They put some of the logos in the back and some don't have it. So it's Joe Jackson. Cleon Jones. Jean Kruganut. Kruget. Butchered that on the jockeys, triple crown winning jockeys. Um, John Dean, mini, base one, Bobby Jones, golfer, and Willie McCovey. So I don't know why some of those had the logo on the back and some don't. That's weird. Okay, well, we won't worry about it. We'll ask you guys. You guys can tell me. We'll go through all the baseball cards at the end. You can tell me if there's anybody in that in the pile I'm questioning if they're part of it or not. Okay, Al Kaline. Nice. This kid screaming. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Walter Hagen, golfer. Steve Garvey, not in, but should be. Our mini is um, Charlie Gerin Geringer. It's hard to read. It's really tiny. Um, and then we've got uh, Archie Vaughn. And then you got Bobby Thompson. It's an interesting, strange shot there. Okay. <laughs> Let me just pull the uh, ones I'm not sure about out. I put them in the regular pile. And um, we'll check those out at the end. Okay, let's get to the next stack up here. Let's do this one here. Slide this one over. So we have to find an auto and a relic. Okay. Metalark Lemon. Big name there. Stay usual. Here's one of the extra headlines in Newark for the 1907 Newark um, News. Eric Caro is second to none. Arcaro, Eric Caro, Eric Caro. Hopefully I didn't destroy that. I probably did. Interesting. This is Frankie Frisch, Frisch, Fred McMillan, McMullen, Tony Kubek, Kubek. Not sure about him either. Okay. Okay. So you could literally. Let's see. I don't know what calculator for me, but um, yeah, it's a very small set. Uh, Red Red Grange, football player. Al Unser, auto racer. Oh, here's our autograph, and it is John Blue Moon Odom. Look at that. It's a really cool autograph with a blue ink. There's our hip belt. Oop. Nice. On card, too. Very cool stuff with the red back there. Nice. He helped the um, John Odom. He helped the athletics um, in the World Series. I definitely recognize his name. Totally cool auto to get there. Let's put that one aside. We won't, we won't put it up. We'll show the case at the end. There's Joe Namath. Mini. Byron Nelson. Colfer and Jack Johnson. They did a really good job with the photography and you know, wherever they got these shots from. That's a really cool shot of Jack Johnson. I'm sure it's like, you know, photo National Archives or something like that. Abe Matthews. Battling Nelson. A battling Nelson. Lightweight champ. Here's another one of these. And this should be. Oh, maybe this is batter up. I don't know. 
Eddie Matthews is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I like that. It's pretty sweet. Okay, another insert there. And then we've got uh, Buck Leonard. I think he was a um, you know famous Negro League player. And um, if, I can, if I'm recalling that correctly, pretty cool stuff there. Joe DiMaggio. And Billy Martin. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame at all. I don't believe so. This one might have a spacer. Let's see what that gets. Look. It does. You can see that right there. Okay. Bob Feller. Johnny Bench. Tons of baseball in here. Nate Colbert. This is my San Diego 1968 expansion draft. Very cool. Our spacer. Uh, Bobby Thompson mini. Let's see any different color backs on these so far. We'll double check at the end. The three Stooges. Then they had three Stooges cards in the previous, the next year too as well. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> uh, I'm not that old, folks, but I did watch that when I was a kid. Now, my dad was into them. He's way older. Chick uh, Chick Gandel. He's part of the Black Sox scandal. Very interesting. So, they got Black Sox cards in here. Oh, that was tragic. People do stuff when they are desperate, you know, for money and things like that. Okay. Uh, John Heisman. Football coach. Warren Spawn, Bobby Allison, 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 sorry, auto racing uh, driver there. I think it was, um, let's see if it says here. I'm slow now. He has a NASCAR driver. I knew that was probably it. Not like Formula One or anything. Um, Walter Ho or Hagen, sorry. Or is it Hogan? I can't see Hagen. Um, and then you've got Jane Mansfield. Hello, Miss Mansfield. Va 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 boom! <laughs> Don't get offended, people. I'm having fun. Roger Rogers Hornsby. Very nice. Still have our rally to go. Jimmy Fox, Earl Weaver. This is in the Hall of Fame. Joe Torrey. Not sure about him. But probably is and or will be if you Cleon Jones Mini Bobby Thompson. What's the difference? We already got this card, didn't we? What's the difference about this one and the other? Let me just find it real quick. Or do they get doubles? Do we actually get doubles in a hobby box, which is kind of odd. I don't think we got any doubles last time. It must be up top here. Hold on a second. This other pile. Let me find it. One second, folks. Yeah, it's the same card. Doubles, that's kind of not cool. Is there anything different about this? This is blue. I want to make sure, folks. Blue. Okay, so I don't know what's going on there. I suppose we got doubles in a hobby box. Eddie Collins. Part of the Black Sox scandal, too. Eddie Collins, is he the pitcher? One of the main pitchers that did all the bad stuff. Okay, through the game. Through okay, here we go. Joe Gargiola. Hernan Jabbar. It's pretty sweet. Cleon Jones. Did we already get this one, too? I think we did. Um, Sam Sneed. Golfer. Uh, Bob... Beamon, long jumper, Bowman, Beamon. And the Loch Ness Monster. Couldn't have a Golden Age set without the Loch Ness Monster in it. Ralph Kiner in the back. Oh, the Titanic. What a pleasure cruise that was, huh? <laughs> Whitey Ford. Pretty cool. He's got a $2 bill there. Kind of interesting. Pete Rose, it's nice. 
Frankie Frisch again. Oh, look at that. There's a different one. Candy Crofts. Croft and Alex. So this is different. This is the different uh, back. I want to make sure that we don't have anything else like that. I don't think we just, they were all the same. Yes, they are. Oh, no, no, no. I missed one right here. See? In the previous pack. Okay. Uh, Luis Aparatio. Aparatio. And Ralph Kiner. Okay. It's got a spacer in it, I think, too. You can tell. Kaboom. There it is. All right. Let's see what we got. Rudolph Valentino. I think we already got him, too. Or was he in the last box? Jerry West. Great basketball player there. Grace Kelly. Pure beauty right here. Good actress. Um, here's our spacer again. Got um, Tony Perez. Pretty nice. It's regular back there. Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt. And Ben Hogan. Rounds out the pack. All right, last stack. A relic will be in here. The Hindenburg. Take a flight in the Hindenburg. <laughs> oh, what a disastrous thing that was, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Bob Woodward. We all know him. The Watergate, um, one of the writers for the uh, Washington Post, investigative journalist. Penny uh, Cherney, secretarian owner. Well, at least we didn't get an autograph from a, from a jockey, because that would have been kind of, eh. Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt, mini. We're going to go back on that one. Denny McLean. Buck Leonard. Rounds out the pack, All right. Richard Perry, Auto Racing, NASCAR, Lefty Williams. He's got Korean Dol Jabari. We, we just got him. Why are they putting doubles in this? I'll have to look closely and make sure there's nothing different about these, but I don't think there is. Um, Lefty Williams, Black Sox Scandal, Korean Dol Jabari. Uh, Duke Snyder, regular back there. Ty Cobb, Phil Rizzuto. Okay, next pack. Another thick pack. Another spacer, it looks like. Okay, here we go. Duke Snyder. Bob Gibson, that's a great shot. How young he is there, wow. Nolan Ryan, beautiful. Spacer. We won't play, we'll do the Hall of Famer minis, we'll just leave those there. I think there's a couple. And here's like one, and Duke Snyder was too, so nice Bob Gibson mini. I love that, that's awesome. Frank Robinson, rest in peace, Mr. Robinson. That's a great shot there, I love it. And Jackie Robinson, look at that, beautiful. Two Hall of Famers back to back. Now, this one might be our relic. Yes, let's save that for last. You can tell. It's a little thicker than the other ones. Ted Williams. Lots of, man, look at these baseball names. Frank Tanana. Now, why would he be in here? Um, hmm. He's not in the Hall of Fame, but I mean, he just did, he had such. He was a really, really good pitcher, and he gets overlooked an awful, an awful lot. And um, you should look at his stats. It talks about them in the back. But I mean, he is—he definitely was a uh, was um, was a decent pitcher, but I don't think good enough to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Russell Johnson, actor. I think this is uh, the professor from Gilligan's Island. Yes, and also this movie it came from outer space now, and this island Earth. Okay, old school stuff there. Dizzy Dean, mini. Oh, now he's got a nice back on that one. It's pretty cool. Make sure the other ones don't have that. Nope, looks like we're good to go there. 
Uh, Swede Rinsberg. Probably the Black Sox handle too. Mini Minosa. Okay. Two more packs. Three more packs. Let's hustle this up. Okay. Dick Fo uh, Fosbury. High jumper. Carl Bernstein. The other part of the duo team. The investigative reporting. The journalist there for the Washington Post. Broke the uh, Watergate scandal. Ron Turcott. 19, or 1973 Triple Crown winner. It's interesting. Insert there. Um, Bill Mazeroski. Mini, regular back on that. Manowar. Hello, Manowar. And John F. Kennedy. President Kennedy. Rounds out the pack. Right, two more regular packs. And we'll get to that one that has the relic. Harmon Killebrew. Mark Spitz, swimmer. Here's another one of these 1907 headline cards from the Newark News. MLK, I Have a Dream, Martin Luther King. Famous and great day in history. One of the greatest speeches of all time. Good man, Mr. Martin Luther King. Very good man. Um, okay. Bill Mazeroski, many. Oh, cool. Got the Candy Crofts, Croft and Allen Company from Philadelphia. It's a nice mini there. Spear of St. Louis. And Carl Yastrzemski, yes. Beautiful. Last regular pack. And then, well, two more regular packs. The last one's got the relic. So, get through this one. All right. Satarian. Secretariat. <laughs> Horses. Mickey Lolich. Bill Walton. Portland Trailblazers. Gene Tennis and Duke Ellington rounds out that pack. Let's do the last one with our relic. Let's see what it ends up being. We have something cool. Can I slide in the back without anybody seeing? Is there mini? Is white or blue? Okay. Our mini is Nolan Ryan. Regular back. Pretty sweet. Okay, here we go. Jack Dempsey, boxer. I don't know that name. Nancy Lopez, golfer, I'll know that name. Seattle Slough, Triple Crown winner. Vita Blue, another great pitcher, not in the Hall of Fame, but should be. Curly Howard. Hey, Mo. <laughs> All right, here's our, uh, we got a bat relic here. Oh, nice. Hall of Famer Gary Carter. That is pretty sweet. I will take that. That's a great one. Look at that. A piece of his bat. Rest in peace, Mr. Gary Carter. There is a picture of him when he was on the uh, Montreal Expos. And um, I really like that. That's a great one to get out of a product like this. It's a Hall of Famer, a really, really big, big name. And um, yeah, you can't go wrong with that kind, of, that kind of card. That's very sweet. And here's our auto. Can I fit this on here? Yes. There we go. John Blue Moon Odom for the Oakland Athletics. It's a nice one, too. I don't think he's not in the Hall of Fame. Um, but Mr. Carter is. Okay, let's go over these really, really fast. Okay, here are the questions that I have for you guys. Some of these we already know aren't in the Hall of Fame. I don't think Gene Tennis is, but if any of these guys are, comment down below because I'm not sure. Mickey Lolich, I don't think so. Minnie Minosa, I don't think so. Frank Tanana, we know that's not there. Phil Rizzuto, Buck Leonard, Dave McLean, I don't think he is. Uh, Luis Aparicio, Pete Rose, we know is not. Cleon Jones, I don't believe is in. Joe Giorgiola, it's another one I'm not sure about. Bobby Thompson, I think he may be. This gun's got a ding in it, so if that was a double, the first one was good. Uh, Joe Torre, not sure about. Nate Colbert, I don't believe he is. Billy Martin, I'm not sure. Tony Tony Kubek, I'm not sure about that one either. Fred, Fred McMullen. Um, he was a Black Sox scandal, was he? I think he was, yes. He was the Black Sox scandal guy. Um, Frank Howard, I don't believe he is. Frankie Frisch. Maybe Frank Howard is in. Frank Frisch, I'm not sure. It probably is. Boog Powell, same thing. Don Larson, same thing. Here's Bobby Thompson again. And why we got double? Arky Vaughn, I'm not sure. Cleon Jones, not sure. And then Shoeless Jackson, I don't. He's. I don't think he is. Or maybe he is. 
I thought he was banned from baseball for life because of what happened with that thing. But there you go with that. Um, real quick, our Hall of Famers, real fast. Yaz, Killebrew, Ted Williams. There's still how many are in here. This is great. Jackie Robinson, Frank Robinson, Nolan Ryan, Bob Gibson, Duke Snyder, Ty Cobb, Ralph Kiner, Whitey Ford, Earl Weaver, Jimmy Fox, Rogers Hornsby, Warren Spawn, Johnny Bench, Bob Feller, Joe DiMaggio, Eddie Matthews, Stan Musial, Al Kaline, Willie McCovey, Bill Dickey. I'm not sure, but I think this is... Yeah, see, it has the logo on there. I'm not sure if that means that he's in or if it's a special card. Um, Hal Newhauser, Sam Crawford. Yeah, he says he was in the Hall. He's in the Hall of Fame. Early win... Raleigh Fingers, Maury Wills, Tom Seaver, and Bill Mazeroski. So there you go with those. That's sweet. Our inserts, real fast. Um, these must be the uh, headlines. I don't know what the... Hmm. Anyway, uh, here's a headlines card. MLK, I have a dream speech. Ron Tur Turcott. I think that's how you say his name. Triple Crown winner from 1973. This is a special card. Oh, this is Newark Evening News 2. Then what is this? This is the headlines one. So this is different. Um, but maybe it's a special subset card because it's got a green back and it looks totally different. Um, I think these are the batter up cards. I don't know if they say that on the back here. I don't see it anywhere. But here's Eddie Matthews, Hall of Famer there. Here's another one of the headlines cards. Um, and then the last one is Ben Hogan, golfer. So there you go with that. These are cool. Um, minis with different backs too. The candy cross backs. We've got Bill Mazeroski, Dizzy Dean. Um, Sam Sneed, I believe, and Frankie Frisch, Frisch, and uh, that was nice. And then our our auto is John Blue Moon Odom, and then Gary Carter. Come on, that's awesome. Very cool stuff here. Now, um, I'm trying to think the other box compared to this. I don't know. I mean, I like the other box maybe a little bit more because I was in it for the Bad News Bears aspect and element. But this one, I think we got better a better relic. No, nah, the Joe Frazier was pretty good. This is pretty good too. Um, the auto, the auto. Um, I think the autos are about equal. Um, this is cool. Oh, we forgot a pennant. I forgot to show you that too. The pennant. There's Richard Nixon. That was kind of nice to get that out of here. <laughs> Boy, he's looking really good when things are going now, aren't? Isn't he? Um, anyway, enough of that. No, no politics here. We don't, we don't go down that road. Um, that's all guys. So let me know your thoughts about this whole thing. I like this. I, I, I thought this was great. Um, I have to see if there's another year of this. Maybe we'll do this one again. Like not this year. If I was going to do another year, it might be the year that we already did the 2013. And then, um, I want to see this in 2014. I'm curious. Cause this is, this is cool stuff. It, it like breaks the monotony of, of, uh, some of the products that we do, you know, every week. Um, that's all I got for you guys. So that's it. So let me know your thoughts about this. So if you're not subscribed, I'd like to see here the, uh, the subscribe button right below. Manning's finger. Give, your videos, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Uh, like I said, let me know what you think of these cards. I get these Hall of Famers, the ones that I'm not sure about. Let me know if there's any of those guys that are in so I can reference that for the future. Um, and then share this with your friends, family, loved ones. And the eBay store link is down below in the description. This is a cool product. I like this. It's real. It's really, really inexpensive. It's like under forty dollars for a hobby box of this. So, uh, which is dirt cheap, if you ask me, for a hobby box with so, with the with the opportunity to pull out, you know, some a big name or relic like we did right there. Look at that, Gary Carter. How can you beat that? No way, can't beat that. Um, and what else can I say? That's all, guys. We're gonna have a bonus video this weekend. I don't know if I'm gonna go out and uh, so check out a um, an antique a mall kind of thing, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not. Uh, and if we don't do that, we'll put up a bonus video uh, diving into uh, subscribe one of our subscribers, Aaron, who sent us a bunch of a uh, bunch of cards um, from his own personal collection that he wanted to uh, to give to me as a gift, and uh, it was very nice of him. So we did a video on that last week, and maybe we'll do that tomorrow because um, there's a bunch of boxes in there that I want to go through, and it would be fun to do a video on that, and I told him I would. So hopefully we can get that out to you uh, tomorrow if we don't go somewhere to shoot a video. Um, that's all I got for you guys. And, uh, hey, if you don't uh, catch us over the weekend, have a great weekend. We'll be back next week, too, as well, with all kinds of new products and old stuff, and uh, I want to get into that Universal Treasures green box as well. 
So, uh, which is the uh, the one we've done three times here. Someone had a great suggestion, one of our viewers and subscribers, that maybe I should do it the day before opening day to celebrate baseball, which I think is what Wednesday would be the day before opening day. I think Thursdays are other Thursday might be the first games. So, if that does happen, I will uh, post a uh, you know a little uh, photo, you know, like I'll post a uh, post a post of that to let you guys know. Um, then maybe you can join me if I do that live. Hopefully that, that'll happen. Just look at my schedule. It gets crazy at nighttime here around the house. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Hey, guys, thanks again for watching us break open this uh, Panini Golden Age hobby box today. This is lots and lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And, yeah, we'll see you guys very, very soon. This is John John Sports Card signing up. And, hey, we'll see you all later.